guys, welcome back and happy early Valentine's Day to all you lovers out there. I'm a lover. Pinks, in my opinion, are the most intimidating color to use for myself. And I'm not talking like blush tones, I'm not talking like pinky mauves, I'm talking like straight up the color pink. I used to love pink when I was younger, and then the older I got, I just, I don't know, I never really feel myself wearing it. So today I just tried to still incorporate like pink pink tones but also in a way where it's wearable for anybody you know because i don't know about you but i don't want to be looking like i got pink eye okay so let's just jump right into this video and see how i got this look i already prepped my eyes with concealer i used my Too faced born this way concealer this is in the color light beige for this look i'm going to be using a lot of my individual shadows that i have in my z palette this is z palette is awesome i'm gonna have to like show you guys this on an Instagram live or something, this is awesome. I'm going to first go in with, I think, I think this is Makeup Geek. Yeah, White Lies by Makeup Geek with just a fluffy eyeshadow brush and start to brighten up. Ooh, something was on my brush. Brighten up the lid, but also set this concealer. I always love brightening up right here. That helps just to keep my eyes more awake and... Right. Once I have a nice wash everywhere, let's get in with some color. It's crazy, I like don't really wear color anymore, but for this occasion, I, I wanted to. So let's go in with my Smith 232 brush, and I think I'm going to dip into this color first, which is Soft Core by ColourPop. ColourPop's individual eyeshadows, first of all, ColourPop in general, their eyeshadows I'm obsessed with. But their pressed pigments are really nice too. So I'm just gonna like lightly dip in there and start to mold this into the crease. So I've been using these Smith brushes for a good solid week now and I fall more and more in love with them every time I use them. Very, um, very luxe, I will say. It's very, very nice. Taking Tuscan Sun by Makeup Geek and using my Smith 230 brush. Um, it's very similar to the first shade we used, but I want to start to kind of deepen up the crease just a little smidge. And as you can see, that color is perfect for that. I think what I love about these brushes the most is even though they're pricey for a beginner, I feel like a beginner would love to use these brushes because these brushes basically do all the work for you. They pick up shadows so nicely, they blend out shadows so nicely. It's like, it's very, very effortless. So if you could afford them at least like a brush a month or a brush every few months, depending on, you know, what your budget is, they're, they're definitely well worth it. Going back in with my 232 brush, with whatever product was left on that brush, I'm also just dusting and blending into this bottom portion of the lid, the outer portion right here. I'm gonna keep this here light and bright because I'm gonna be going in with concealer to carve a little bit, but for these edges right here, just blend them in. I'm gonna be going in with the color Bitten by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to be taking my Smith 235 brush, just lightly dipping that on the tip, and basically just smoking out this lower portion right here. I feel like I want to do a slight smoky wing. I love that this brush has this nice point to it because it really gets precise for giving me that shape that I like. Again, I love that almond shape, so this brush really helps to ensure that I get that. To intensify this bitten shade a little bit more, I'm gonna be using the Smith 253 brush. I like that this is their Arrowhead Shader eyeshadow brush. It's the small one. I like it because it's perfect for packing on. Um, it's great, so I'm just gonna go ahead, dip in there, and then really start to just push that color a little bit deeper. Back in with the 235, nothing, ooh, <laughs> just threw that away. 
Um, whatever is left on this brush didn't dip into anything. I just want to make sure that this is blended. Like, I seriously straight up feel like Barbie. I haven't had pink like this on my eyes in I don't even know how long. It's really pretty though. So now I'm going to be taking Anastasia's eyeshadow in Smoke and I want to give myself a really soft liner. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip in with my Japanese eyeliner brush and start to carve out a wing. It's very lightly building on that shade because I don't want to cover Bitten. I want it to just sit right up underneath it. I honestly love eyeshadow wings. Like, they're so soft and delicate, and I don't know, there's just something about having an eyeshadow wing. I just, I love it. I'm not really worried too much on how it looks up under here, because I still have to clean up the shadow to give it that nice crisp line. I just wanted to get the wing out of the way first. So, how many of my subscribers celebrate Valentine's Day? I'm like such a love, a love bird. Um, I give my boyfriend so much love. It's enough for the both of us. Um, he's more reserved, but like super sweet. And I'm like the affectionate, all over you, kissing you, want to tell you how much I love you every single day of my life. I don't know. That's just who I am. I just love to love people. Last year, we celebrated Valentine's Day at the Bulls game. I'm from Chicago, if you guys haven't picked that up yet, or if you're new to my channel and didn't know, I'm from Chicago, so we went to a Bulls game, and we got to be on the Kiss Cam. I was like, oh my god! And I'm sure we were on the Kiss Cam just because of how much I was smothering him the entire game, because that's just like me. I'm, I'm always like, I love you. You're so cute. Like, I'm crazy. That was so cool. I was like, this is the best Valentine's Day ever. We probably won't do anything, like, too crazy for Valentine's Day this year because he has a competition two days um, after. And if you guys don't know, he's an Olympic weightlifter. And it's a, it's a pretty important competition. I mean, all of them are, but this one's really important for him, too. So he's just been lifting every day focus on that so I'm like if we don't do anything I'm totally okay with that alright I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer this is a no named brush I think I got this from um, crowns website crown brushes so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip a little bit of concealer on that brush and pop it right here I don't want to go too crazy cuz I'm not trying to like carve out the eye. I just want it to be a little bit cleaner here so when I lay down this other shadow it's more pigmented. And then I take my finger and buff that in. I like how like clean it makes it look too, you know? Let's do the other side. So now I'm going to go in with this shade from ColourPop. This is their Super Shock eyeshadows. I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with ColourPop in general. Um, this is called Twitter padded? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? What is that? I think that's, I think that's the name. It's Twitter something. Let me see if you guys can see it. Twitter padded, Twitter padded. I'm going to be using like a mixture of my fingers and a brush. So I'm going to be taking my MAC 232 brush first. Um, I'm not spraying it. I'm just going in with this dry just to get a little bit, some color on here and start to lightly push that onto the concealer while also blending it towards the lid. This color is so pretty. It's like um, a soft pinky gold glittery reflex. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger and tap on the lid as well. That also helps to blend it and then pack on a little bit more shadow as well. Okay, time to clean up these eyes. You guys know I usually use my Anastasia hydrating oil with a cotton round. Just put a little bit of oil on there like this. And then I just go ahead, I'm gonna pat it in really quick. But then I just go ahead and clean right up underneath the eye. Going into my Fenty palette, I'm gonna be using 
this shade right there, I want to use that with my Coastal's shader, Coastal Sense shader brush. Dip in here, I want that to be the inner corner highlight. And it's pretty because it actually has a slight pink tone to it. So it adds to this look. I already prepped my face earlier. I used um, the Smashbox Primer Oil, as usual. You guys know I love it. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in light beige, and then my Hourglass foundation in the color ivory. Mix those two together, and that's what my foundation's going to be. So I bought two new products from um, Charlotte Tilbury. Now they're not new to her, they're just new to me. And it's the Hollywood Flawless Filter and her Flawless um, Powder. And I used it on my live stream on Instagram and I was obsessed. And I was thinking about today, if you guys saw it on my Instagram story, you saw that I used this before the foundation and after the foundation. So today I want to use it after the foundation to see if I like that better. This gives your skin the most beautiful glow ever. So um, as much as I did like it under, I want I just want to try it different ways to see if maybe I like it better one way or the other. Okay, concealer time. So I'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You guys know I'm obsessed with this. I'm going to keep using it. This is in the color Light Beige. This is going to be really good for those guys right there. We're going to keep them hidden. I'm going to use another concealer to help to um, brighten up around the eyes. And for that, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in the, in the color Light and that will help to brighten up those areas. Take my beauty blender, dip in a little bit of that color, and then I like to just blend them together. I love the color and the coverage that those two concealers give me when I mix them together. Mixing is seriously my favorite. To brighten up just a tiny bit more, I'm gonna be using my ColourPop concealer. This is in the color 16. Just bring it right here to brighten up that area. So is anybody digging my Ariana Grande hairstyle? <laughs> so it's funny, I was going through old pictures and for my 23rd birthday, so that was four years ago, I had Ariana hair. And I saw it when I was going through them and I was like, oh my God, I remember I used to love my hair like that because all of the end of 2014 and then all of 2015 I basically wore my hair like this all the time like I was just like obsessed with this style and then I got rid of it and I stopped wearing it and then when I saw it I was like no I want to bring it back so I brought it back today you know what I want to use a different setting powder today I'm going to be using actually two types of setting so I'm going to be using my Kat Von D setting powder I'm just going to go ahead and dip a little bit in my cap, take my beauty blender, kind of dust a little off, and then go ahead and set really quick right here, and then right here, and then a little bit everywhere. Now what I'm gonna do, actually, before I start going crazy with setting, let me use my Hollywood filter that I was telling you guys about. This is in the shade three, light medium, and I'm just going to pop it right here really quick and right there and just pounce that in. I think I might like it better this way than how I wore it um, on my Instagram live, but we'll see. So now with the other powder, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless powder that I was telling you guys about. So this is in the shade 2 medium and I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. This brush is amazingly so soft and dip in there and we're just going to pounce that powder right here and here. I'm just going lightly because I don't want to be too matte but I do want some type of blurring going on. Um, and this powder really helps to give that really soft blur look. Let's bronze now. I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer with my Japanese Highlighting Brush. This bronzer is such a beautiful shade and I love the way it smells. If you're not a coconut fan, you're not going to like this. Um, it smells like coconuts and it's amazing. It makes me think 
I'm somewhere else, like on an island every time I use this. Always push into your hairline too, ladies and gentlemen. Make this bronzer look real. It's a real tan. I want to be a little bit more bronzy, so I'm going to jump into my Park Avenue Princess palette. And we're going to be using the shade. Let's see what shade I want to use. I always like step back to see like how bronze I am before I'm like, what should we do? Um, let's go in with a little bit of angle and a little bit of carrot. My hair like literally always gets wild when I'm doing my makeup. Like stop playing me. I put hairspray in you. Like w just leave me alone. Please? Please? I'm going to do a little hairspray break because I'm annoyed. So I just like brush back these little hairs first, then spray them. Much better! Thanks! Best hairspray by the way, the Kenra Platinum. I use number 14. Um, it's a little bit of a softer hold. I should get the number 25 so that these pieces lay down and stay down, but... Whatever, I like torturing myself. So I'm going to be, for blush, using the Lorac blush. This is in the color Prism. So pretty. It's just a really soft pink. I didn't want too much color since we have a lot of color on the eyes. Same Japanese brush. And just pop that color right on the cheeks. I swear, this is like the perfect pink blush in the world. For highlight, as always, my Amor and Anastasia palette with my Morphe 510 brush. Just give a little bit of highlight. My skin's been like extra glowy on its own lately as well. So I don't want to put like too, too much. Setting the face really quick before we finish the eyes. It's my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix as always. Drying this bad boy down. Oh, I didn't realize how much I needed that right now. I've been kind of sick the last few days. And so I have like a hot head. And this just like really helped to cool me down for a second. Oh, caught me off guard. Then here comes the baby little hairs again. Go away. All right, let's finish these eyes. So I'm going to be using my Smith 247 brush. And let's use the first shade that we used earlier by ColourPop, the Soft Core. Just very lightly dust this right up under here. I think I actually just might do one color. I think it, this just might be it for me, honestly. Just because I have that nice wing. And I don't want to really take away from that. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty. So we're just going to do this shade. Super pretty. I just want to sing, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie First of all, I sound like shit. I mean, I'm not a good singer regardless. But with the sore throat, that just sounded horrid. I'm so sorry, guys. So for the eyes, they're perfect. They're done. I don't want to touch them anymore. So I'm going to quickly do my brows and mascara and lashes off camera. I know, don't hate me. I just, sometimes I don't want to do them on camera. And you guys have seen me multiple times do them on camera before. And I will always link to other videos where I show you guys what I use. So I will be right back. All right, everything is on. So as always, um, for my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Pomade in the shades Medium Brown. And then I use the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. And then for my lashes, you guys know I always wear the Ardell Individual Lashes. So if you guys would like to see how I put them on, I will have them linked somewhere for you guys so you can see that. So for lip, I feel like because this is so, to me, like a lot of pink for me, um, I don't want to be like pink eyes and pink lips. So I think I'm going to do like a combination of like a nude somewhat pink tone lip and these are from LA Girl. I have the color Forever and Cafe. So let's go ahead and mix them. I'm going to probably do Forever first because this is the pinkest and the Cafe is going to help to mute it down a little bit. And then there we go. It's a little bit deeper than I wanted but I feel like me having this lip on is going to make it a little bit more wearable for this entire look, at least for me. But yeah guys, this completes the look. I hope you like it and a happy early Valentine's Day to you guys. Again, I'm a lovebird so I just want to give all the love to you guys. If you guys don't have a Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. I have a Valentine but I could also be your valentine. Also, let me know if you guys like seeing pops of color. 
like for me pink I hope that I made it a little bit more wearable for you guys because I know sometimes color can be intimidating so if you guys would like to see a little bit more color on my channel definitely let me know because I would love to show you some wearable colorful looks as always thank you guys so much for watching my channel liking subscribing and just being my friend it's a heart you guys can't see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe my videos as always. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys again, and I will see you all in the next video.